Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube. And today I'm going to bring you guys a review of the Meros Smart Radiator Thermostat, which is HomeKit compatible. Now, the exact model of this particular device is the MTS150HHK. And this is a smart radiator thermostat you can attach to radiators around your home, which is HomeKit compatible. And Meros, if you've not come across them before, make fairly affordable smart home devices. And what sets them apart from other companies is that most of their devices are actually HomeKit compatible, which is fantastic for Apple users. Now, this particular product costs between £35 and £40 for the valve itself, or if you need the pack with the little hub included, that will cost about £60. Now, the hub works with up to 16 devices, and so you're probably only going to need that pack with the hub once. Now, this price is some just below those by Tado if you've looked at their radiator valves before. And actually, I'm going to be doing a video on this channel really soon comparing Meros and Tado when it comes to kind of whole home smart heating solutions, because both companies do HomeKit compatible radiator thermostats, but also home boiler smart thermostats. If you want to be first to see that, make sure you hit subscribe. Now, the other thing I want to say before I start this review is that Meros have very kindly sent me this product to use. That means I haven't actually paid for it, but I make it clear to every single company who reaches out to me that any reviews will be completely honest. And so that's what you guys are going to get for this review. I've also got a review coming up. I've also got a review on this channel of the Meros Smart Thermostat. So check that out with the link below. But this particular product I'm going to be reviewing today is the Radiator Smart Thermostatic Valve. And really, you can use these in a whole variety of ways. You can use them on their own in as many rooms around your house as you like, or you can use them alongside something like a smart thermostat. In the box, when you pick these up, you either just get the device itself, or if you go for the pack with the hub, you also get a charging brick, USB cable, and the hub as well. Regardless of which pack you get, you get a load of adapters as well to make it really compatible depending on your existing thermostatic valves. That means if you are going to buy one of these, your radiators do need to already have thermostatic radiator valves for them to work. If not, you're going to need a plumber to get these set up first. This is because they essentially replace the top part of the thermostatic valve, not the whole part that's plumbed onto your radiator. So let's talk about the design. So the design of these is white and rounded with a touch screen on top, which is LED with white lights on it. This is not always on, which is great if you have it in a room such as a bedroom where you don't want to be disturbed by a light. The whole of the outside slides up and off, allowing you to add two AA batteries. Now, Maros don't commit to how long these batteries will last for, but I'd expect them to last at least a year based on how the Tado ones last with the same amount of battery life. Likewise, you don't actually see a battery level notification in the app, but you will get a notification when battery level is low. All in all, this design is nice and modern, but personally I'd have preferred that battery push button to be on the back rather than the front of the device. This would have given the front a much cleaner look. So let's talk about setup. So setup is going to vary slightly based on if you already have a Meros hub, but regardless of what you're setting up, you start in the app first. Hitting the plus in the app and finding the radiator valve will talk you through the whole process. This includes giving you the option to choose whether you do already have a hub set up, and if not, it will get that set up. And as part of that, it will set that up in Apple HomeKit as well. One of the great things about the Meros hub approach is that any new devices you add automatically go into Apple's HomeKit. That means for this particular device, you simply set it up by following the instructions in the app, and it will just appear in Apple's Home app. Although what you will need to do is give it a name in Apple's Home app and assign it to the correct room. When you set this up in the Meros app, it will talk you through the whole process, including fitting it to your radiator and adding the batteries in. In getting this set up, I found that actually following these instructions in the app rather than getting ahead of yourself and adding batteries beforehand was the easier way to do it. If you do get ahead of yourself and add batteries beforehand, then remove them for a few seconds in order to get back in step. This seems to be because the valve kind of enters a pairing mode initially and then kind of loses it if you don't do it quick enough. So let's talk about what this is like to use. So really, there's a couple of ways you can operate these. You can operate them via your smartphone, or you can operate them via the actual valve itself. To operate it using the valve itself, you simply tap the top of a valve any way you like. This causes the screen to light up. On that screen, you can use different buttons to switch modes. You can see the Wi-Fi status, you can see the current temperature, and you can use plus and minus buttons to adjust to the desired temperature you want. This screen is pretty responsive. However, I suspect for most people, this is a kind of nice to have, but probably not the primary way you're actually going to use this device. The other thing worth noting at this stage is that this does actually operate in a quieter way to the Tado device. Again, this doesn't really matter too much, but it is worth noting that Meros have come up with a nice quiet solution. 
And then the second way you're going to operate it is by your phone, either using the Apple Home app or the Meros app. In the Meros app, you can set the initial mode of the device, and this is either auto or manual. Now, if you use manual mode, Meros give you three quick action buttons to allow you to easily set the desired temperature. These are heat, cool, and economy. And you can adjust the values of these in the settings, which you're going to want to do because for some reason, Meros think you're going to want to heat your room to 25 degrees out of the box. They obviously haven't had the energy bills that we've had over the last year. You can also use the plus and minus buttons to toggle that temperature by 0.5 degrees at a time. If you set the auto mode, then it relies on the schedules that you set up in the app. And these schedules are different for every single radiator valve that you have. And you can set these schedules based on the time of day and also each day individually. There is the option to duplicate days if you want to as well. As I said in my review for the Meros Smart Thermostat, these controls are a little bit clunky and a bit tricky to get used to. In all honesty, most of the time you're only likely to set these once and adjust them occasionally, but it is something worth noting because it just doesn't have the same user-friendly interface that other smart heating controls have got. The settings for the radiator valve also let you do things like turn on open window notifications and calibrate the temperature. Temperature calibration allows you to adjust what it actually is based on your room. And quite often with smart radiator valves, you want to do this because they're automatically going to read a higher temperature because they're next to the source of heat in your room. Whereas a thermostat on the other side of your room would probably get a more accurate reading. This calibration setting allows you to offset the temperature. This is especially useful if maybe you have another smart sensor in the room that you can use to make sure they kind of match up. These devices also support voice control, which is great. This means they work with Amazon and Google Voice Assistants. And of course, thanks to the HomeKit integration, they also work with Siri. And then for those people who use Samsung SmartThings, they're also SmartThings compatible. If you're an Apple user, then you can use the smart thermostat via the Apple Home app and also in the Home app automations. This is great if you want to combine it with other devices in your home and other actions. That hub means you can control them wherever you are in the world with out of home access. One thing worth noting is that out of the box, Meros offer no geolocation functionality. If you do want to achieve this, however, you can achieve this using the kind of last person left or first person arrived automations in the Apple Home app. However, if you do want to take advantage of these and you don't want them to get overwritten by the next stage of your schedule, then you're probably going to want to switch it to manual mode in the Meros app and set up your schedules in the Apple Home app. And as I said in the review for the Meros Smart Thermostat, this is a little bit clunky to do in the Apple Home app. But again, once you've done it once, you don't need to do it again. The other important thing to note is that unlike the Tado radiator valves, which can trigger your main boiler to come on, these can't. This means they act a lot more like traditional radiator valves in that they control the heat of a radiator when your heating is on. This means if you've got your radiator valve set to come on at four o'clock and set the room to 25 degrees, but your main boiler setup isn't set to come on until six o'clock, then they will not do anything. This is the same whether you have a Meros Smart Thermostat or any other thermostat. However, this does still allow you to control the temperature of different rooms when your heating is on, and thus saving you money and only heating up the rooms that you want to around your house. The advantage of a traditional one to five hand controlled thermostats is you can change those temperature settings depending on the time of day or even the day of the week. And of course, it also offers you that functionality of monitoring the temperature in those rooms. Like I said at the start, I have got a comparison video of the whole home Tado approach compared to the Meros approach coming up on this channel soon. So subscribe if you want to see that first. At a pretty affordable price for a smart thermostatic radiator valve, you actually get a lot for your money with these from Meros. And in using this for just over a week, I'd say that it does a lot of things really well. Personally, it'd be nice to see some improvements to the scheduling screen just to make it a bit more user friendly in the app. And it'd also be nice to see an integration between the radiator valves and the Meros home thermostat to really give you a kind of whole home solution like Tado offer. That being said, the latter is certainly more advanced feature and probably not something that most people are going to really care about. The HomeKit integration is certainly something that is worth having. And this is something that really does set this apart because for Apple users looking for a HomeKit compatible smart radiator valve, there really are very few options in the market. If you've got any questions, do stick them below and I will answer those questions for you guys. If you do want to pick them up, I have put a link below to these items on the Meros website, which is generally the place where you're going to get the cheapest prices for these. So make sure you follow that link. Now that link is an affiliate link. So if you purchase through that, I will get a small cut. And that just helps me keep this channel going because this isn't my full time job and I don't get paid for these reviews. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys again soon.